When you post on YouTube, especially bold or controversial content, you might notice the likes and the dislikes. And here's something every creator should understand. All engagement matters. YouTube's algorithm is built on signals like watch time, click-through rate, and interaction. And yes, interaction includes both likes and dislikes. While YouTube hasn't publicly confirmed the exact impact of dislikes, analysts and trusted tools like TubeBuddy confirm that they still count as engagement, not as a penalty. As explained in a June 2024 article by TubeBuddy, dislikes don't hurt a video's visibility. They inform the platform that a viewer reacted, and that reaction helps the algorithm understand interest. So no, getting dislikes doesn't automatically harm your reach. It can, in fact, increase visibility by showing the algorithm that your content provoked a response, that it got people to feel something, and that's one of the strongest signals for visibility. And there's science to back this up. A 2024 study in Frontiers in Psychology found that negative feedback influences cognition and behaviour just as powerfully as positive feedback. This means even critical responses create engagement loops. And in a more recent study, researchers showed that emotional arousal, positive or negative, enhances memory formation, reinforcing that emotionally reactive content leaves a lasting impact. So if your video stirs disagreement, that doesn't mean you failed, it often means you resonated. And keep in mind, viewers may register disapproval for reasons entirely unrelated to the intellectual or creative quality of your work. In emotionally charged digital ecosystems, such as fan-driven subcultures, a perceived challenge to a favoured figure, even implicitly, can provoke retaliatory engagement, often in the form of mass downvoting or dislike raids. This behaviour reflects parasocial loyalty more than critical judgement. Moreover, content that introduces dissonance, especially when rooted in empirical or rational critique, may encounter resistance not on evidentiary grounds, but because it threatens pre-existing identity structures or ideological commitments. Cognitive dissonance, identity protective cognition and confirmation bias all contribute to the rejection of even objectively sound arguments. In such cases, the dislike is not a verdict on your content, but a reflection of the viewer's discomfort or perceived disempowerment. Dislikes then are often less a measure of truth and more a signal of impact. Now you might ask, why does the dislike button even exist? It serves a few key purposes. It allows users to quickly express disinterest or disagreement. It helps refine their personal recommendation feed. It offers creators private feedback, especially since public dislike counts were removed in 2021 to reduce harassment. But here's the deeper truth. Some of the most meaningful content isn't universally liked. It's bold, it's divisive, and it opens a door for dialogue. Being ignored is worse than being disliked, because dislikes mean you were seen. So if you're making content that challenges the norm, don't be discouraged. Keep creating, keep questioning, and let the noise be proof that you were heard.